So welcome to This Week in Anime History, where we talk about things that happened this week in anime history. And uh, January 5th, 1941, sure enough, was the birth of Hayao Miyazaki. The legendary anime creator. Um, where did you I all... I've heard of him. I know. Um, somewhat familiar. Um, what was your first uh, Miyazaki movie? I know, right? Oh, on on like DVD or like in a theater? At all, at all. What was your first exposure? <sighs> oh. I had heard of Miyazaki. Uh, I think I saw Spirited Away in the theater. Mm. And then I, when I had Netflix, I went back and got uh, My Neighbor Totoro and then mm-hmm. started getting other stuff. And then obviously through this, watched like so, other. Spirited Away stuff. in theaters. Wow. That must have been an experience. Yeah. 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 That was that was damn amazing and enough that it was like mm-hmm. I have to find out more about what this <laughs> Studio Ghibli is all about. <laughs> studio Ghibli, yeah. Gib Ghibli. How do you pronounce I, that? <laughs> I have no idea. I can't. I can't remember if it was Howl's. I, mm-hmm. I can't remember if it was if it was Spirited Away. I know I didn't see Kiki, but for some reason mm-hmm. Kiki's kept coming into mind. Mm-hmm. I honestly don't know. Yeah, my first was um, My Neighbor Totoro, because um, I remember buying the, the, the original Fox dub of uh, My Neighbor Totoro. Um, they, this was, they licensed this before, or it may have been, I think it was before Warriors of the Wind um, came out. Um, so mm. before all the controversy around you know, Miyazaki releases, uh, they, they licensed this and brought it out. It was technically, um, oh... Gosh. Um, uh, um, so the weirdest thing about this, um, so it was licensed by Fox, uh, and they needed to find somebody to uh, to dub it, and so they found a studio to dub it, and so you get the Fox logo, and then you get the Troma Pictures logo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was dubbed by Troma Productions, technically. <laughs> Um, awesome. I was like, okay, that's kind of weird. And then you're like, but this is actually works out well. And you you go um, to the to the end credits, and uh, dub direction was by Carl Maycheck. Um, yeah, okay. he, he, oh, okay. he was the one overseeing all that. I, I love that dub um, to the point where the when they went to do the Disney dub, there was some talk about somebody interviewed the folks uh, producing the Disney dub, and they said, why don't you just use the Fox dub? And they said, we love that dub too, but we don't own it. We don't have the rights to that. That's another company's dub. We can't just reuse it, right? So, oh, but like, yeah. but like, even they were like, "Yeah, that, that's a great dub." Um, but yeah, my, my first was um, was Totoro, and like, I knew to, I knew Miyazaki more as a respected like director uh, who mm-hmm. made like anime works, um, not so much like connected to anime. I guess I don't know. Um, um, and uh, I guess it's one of those things where, because so few of his things were available in America at the time, it was just, I had no idea what to expect. You know, I, he didn't have a reputation for me much other than this guy's stuff is amazing. Um, right. And uh, yeah, that was, that was for me with uh, Spirit of Life, with, uh, sorry, with, with Totoro. <laughs> uh, and after that, Kiki, and then I guess Nausicaa next, maybe? I don't know. But yep, uh, 81 years old now. Um, born in 1941, he has seen a lot, um, yeah. and he is, I believe, on his seventh retirement. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. 14 will be a lucky number for yeah, him. Exactly. The 14th retirement, that'll probably be. <laughs> that'll stick. Yeah, that'll then stick. it'll stick, exactly. Because <laughs> it'll be death. Yeah, yeah. Uh, long may he continue making stuff. 